baby born without a face. Then doctors say something much more scarier. A tiny girl from Jacksonville, Florida can teach us a thing or two about how to be beautiful. According to her mother, Julianne Wetmore, age 11, attends school, engages in conversation and participates in extracurricular activities with their peers. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. Defying all chances, despite being born with Collins syndrome and being born without a face after a difficult pregnancy. Juliana's parents, Tom and Tammy Whitmore, learned that they had given birth to a girl who was missing 40% of the bones in her facial structure. Despite comments on social media suggesting that Juliana be euthanized, the Wetmores are celebrating today because Juliana is finally able to speak and communicate in sign languages after 45 surgeries over the course of 11 years. What happened to her? What happened to her face? Tammy recalls asking the question. According to First Coast News, because of her problematic pregnancy, she'd not seen Juliana until her husband took a photograph of her and prepared his wife for what she was about to see in the photograph. Those suffering from Treasure Collins syndrome have delayed facial development, which is thought to be caused by a mutation in the gene on chromosome 5, according to the genetics home reference. The rare genetic illness is characterized by irregularities in the development of the head and face as well under development of the cheekbones in comparable tissues such as the jawbone. Many people, particularly on social media, express their displeasure with the Watmore's decision to keep Juliana, according to FCN. One of the comments stated, damn things should have been euthanized. Despite the fact that the Wetmore's doctors and others were appalled by Juliana's reaction, they used it as an incentive to continue to provide Juliana with a normal and healthy existence. Her parents are completely behind her and believe that Juliana is demonstrating to the world that beauty is only skin deep. The story about an 11-year-old girl has inspired parents from many walks of life who have used it to teach their own children that genuine beauty cannot be defined by what's on the outside, according to the New York Daily News. They stated that this narrative is much broader than us or Juliana. God never gives you more than you can manage, says the sage Solomon. Juliana is not alone in the difficulties she faces on a daily basis. Her adopted sister Danica, who's also afflicted by the same ailment as her, provides further support to the adolescent. In addition to the assistance she received from her parents and her elder sister Kendra, the Wetmore has conducted a Google search on the subject. In 2010, US Today reported that a treacherous colon adoption in which they discovered a photo of Danica in an orphanage in Ukraine and adopted her. Unlike Juliana, her medical condition is not as serious as Juliana. It's been a year since the girls first met, and they're inseparable. They communicate with each other through sign language and swing together at the school's playground. The Wetmores are confident that Juliana and Danica will always be able to comprehend the difficulties they confront when other people are unable to relate to them. Juliana still has some challenges to overcome and she continues to eat through her tracheotomy tube and receives most of her sustenance through a feeding tube. She can currently ingest and digest things such as Italian ice, which is a treat. Her parents hope that one day she'll be able to prepare her own meals despite her age. The 11-year-old is scheduled for surgery this summer. To further clarify her cheekbones, Juliana has conveyed to her parents that she is content with her appearance currently, despite the fact that her surgeries have not resulted in a normal-looking face. The Wetmores have stated that they do not wish to put any additional strain on her. How is Juliana Wetmore faring these days? Juliana, on the other hand, is currently flourishing and attending primary school in Clay County, Florida. She is able to communicate verbally as well as through sign language. In the meantime, her parents are hopeful that she will one day be able to eat independently and that her tracheotomy too will no longer be necessary. Is it possible to be born without having a face on your face? Baby born without a face, owing to a rare disease, manages to celebrate his first birthday despite the odds. Unbelievably, a baby born without a face had survived to celebrate his first birthday defying all expectations. The absence of the flat bones in the cranial vault within the skull, which is an uncommon congenital condition, meaning that the flat bones are either fully or partially absent. What happened to the girl who was devoid of a face? Juliana Wetmore is referred to as the girl born without a face all around the world and for a good reason. A year after her birth, her tale went viral on the internet when she was born. Her face didn't appear to be that of a human. 
Juliana suffers from creature's colon syndrome, which is a hereditary disease. Her face is lacking up to 40% of its bones, which is a significant deformity. Collins, or TCS, is a rare genetic condition marked by deformities of the head and face. Under the development of zygmatic complex cheekbones, jaws, palate, and mouth can cause respiratory and feeding issues. A downward slant of the hole between the upper and the lower eyelids and anomalies of the external and middle ear structures may also result in hearing loss. Anomalies of the brain and behavior like microsphuly and psychomotor delay have been documented. TCS symptoms and physical traits are very considerably between individuals. Some people have mild symptoms that go untreated, while others have life-threatening problems. TCS symptoms and severity can vary greatly across individuals and even within families. Others may have major abnormalities and potentially life-threatening respiratory problems. Notably, not all affected individuals will exhibit all the symptoms listed. TCS affects the face, ears, and the delicate tissue around the eyes. Affected people who have distinct facial traits may suffer hearing and visual issues. TCS is characterized by symmetrical or nearly similar facial deformities that are present at birth, hearing loss, cleft, palate, or jaw, and airway issues that can all cause or affect speech and language development. Although intelligence is normally unaffected, neurological and behavioral defects have been recorded. Faces within TCS have flattened or missing cheekbones. Mandibular hypoplasia causes the chin and lower jaw to see abnormally tiny. The chronic and candle process that bind the lower jawbone to muscle might be flat or missing. The throat of affected newborns may be underdeveloped. Pharyngeal hypoplasia and hypoplasia of the lower jaw and or micronatia might cause feeding or breathing issues in early infancy. Obstructive sleep apnea is a sleeping disorder characterized by recurrent, brief pauses of regular breathing and air movement. In severe cases, breathing problems might be fatal. Nasal airway constrictions and blockage might also cause respiratory or eating issues. The Pierre Robin sequence includes severe micronatia, a tongue displaced further back in the mouth than usual, and partial closure of the roof of the mouth, and for some children, even when the palate unites, it might remain excessively arched, affecting feeding and respiration. Also, mouth and jaw anomalies can cause dental issues like underdeveloped or misplaced teeth, a tooth, agnesis, enamel opacity, and ectopic. Eruption of certain upper teeth can also be recorded. TCS patients may have hearing loss as sound waves fail to pass through the middle ear. TCS is caused by deformed or missing oscillators, the three tiny bones that transport sound waves into the middle ear. Atresia is a constriction or blockage of the exterior ear canals. The outer ears may be twisted. However, male formations of the inner ears, bony spinal organ, cochlea, and balance-related structures. Vestibular apparatus have been recorded. Pre-oracle tags or tiny skin growths or pits right in front of the external ears. An applied fistula is an irregular tube that drains the ears to the nose. Tissue abnormalities around the eyes are common in TCS newborns. These eye abnormalities can cause a melancholy facial expression. It's most prevalent when the opening between the upper and lower eyelid slants downwards. Eyelid columbus, partial eyelash loss on the lower eyelid, crossed eyes, and constricted tear ducts are further signs. Male formations of the globe can include a notch or a split in the iris or usually small eyes. Some patients lose their vision. The intensity and mix of ocular disorders determine the visual impairment. Anomalies of the lower eyelid can cause chronic discomfort and infection. Approximately 5% of TCS patients have developmental or neurological issues such as psychomotor, slowness, normal language development has little effect on intelligence. Hearing loss, cleft, palate, or structural deformity can all affect speech development.